everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, it's Dark Mistake 20 or something, I don't know. I'm in my car because I'm on a road trip. I'm heading back. Chelsea and I did some some episodes this week. It was really fun. Hung out in Florida, had a great time, got some hot weather into me. Now I'm heading back to Canada, but I forgot to record this one. And I said, hey, we're at a Dick, Wind Dixie somewhere. I don't know where we are. And uh, just supercharging right now. So let's do this quick video about Bonnie Holy. And everybody's been like, you have to watch this. You have to watch it, you have to watch it. So without further ado, let's watch it. I hope this is recording. So apparently this video, she talks about something about her kids and working and Instagrams and all that kind of stuff. So let's see what she has to say. You know that wash day is coming up when my hair goes up in a pony and the bangs are being pulled back. I got two more days. I'm going to do it up today and I'm going to... Husbands who watch this, all two of you, when the ponytail starts happening, don't lie. You get a little excited. You get a little excited. Don't lie. Do it up tomorrow and then I'm going to wash it fresh for Sunday. Okay. Good Tell morning. You're going to wash your hair. That's... Stop. Guys, yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, I showed um, just like a tiny bit that I had bought these new sweat outfits for a It's too many strings there. Bonnie, someone did tell me that Bonnie had a BBL, which is Buffalo butt lift. I don't know what it is. It makes your butt look huge. Um, why? She seems pretty thick. Why would she need to put, make her ass bigger? Whatever makes you happy, though. Via and I, it was 12 bucks for the bottom, 12 bucks for the top. Why don't you just say it was $24 for the entire outfit? That would have been better. Thanks, though. I got Olivia the black pair. I got me this green pair. Um, they do come in a few other sizes, so I'll put these in the description because they are so soft and so cute. Chill I with the nails. Love these little ditties. Mm. <gasps> Mr. Holine just walked in the door. He went to a tax Holine. meeting. I've been calling them Holine this whole time. But I'm not going to stop. It's Holine forever. This morning. And it went surprisingly faster than I thought it was going to. That's what she said. <laughs> On her wedding night. And now too. Well, that um, conversation with Joel took a little bit of a turn. Um, you can't expect to go a full month and be totally happy every single day. So. What kind of statement is that? What kind of pause screen is this? What? Why not? Why can't you be happy? What? <laughs> Here's what I had planned. Okay. Plan First, I was supposed to go to a play tonight. Kill the nails. Um, the nails. And I had a conversation with Boston last night, and he was really, really upset. I, I honestly think that one of her kids' name is Boston. That's what I'm, I'm guessing, because Mormons are weird with their names. Tell me why the culture in Mormon LDS world, why do they name their kids weird names? Why? What is it? Why? And I'm not saying I'm not doing it to make fun of people. I honestly want to know why that culture is the way it is, because it's interesting. He was um, upset about a lot of different things, um, conversations that he had with kids at school that like shock me. Like the conversations that kids have at school shocks me. And uh, it shouldn't shock you. Kids. Oh my gosh. I guess it could. Because sometimes I think, well, I was a kid who grew up in a very low income area and kids who grow up where I grew up, where my kids are growing up now and kids will grow up where I grew up. They are, di they are totally different worlds. But have you ever just walked by a gaggle of teenagers at a mall? And I'm like, is my teenager like that? And I'm, yep, pretty sure. <laughs> They're all, wow, yeah. It just reinforces to me that I will not let my kids have social media or be on social media. My Why? Is she, okay, so this video is only seven minutes long. So she's going to be very vague and probably for reasons of hey we saw your mom on youtube or they we see your family on youtube these kids are likely being bullied at school 
for being on YouTube, for their whole lives being out on YouTube. This is where this comes to a head for a lot of these family vloggers. And it's where we're gonna see a lot of shit go down, okay? Kids are relentless assholes. It's just the way they are. It's the way it's always been. If you give any kids any ammo to make fun of you for whatever reason, Jess fam, I'm looking at you. Weiss Life, I'm looking at you. Weiss Life specifically, we talked about that. And we had the inside scoop from her aunt, I think it was, who said that Gabrielle hates the fact that those videos are out there about the period kits and the bras and all that stuff because her, all of the students will see that at school and they have and they share it. Jess fam, when she's talking about threesomes and all of her sexual things that she does, those kids, when they become teenagers, their friends are gonna see that. When it comes to this stuff, it might be pretty vanilla, yeah, they might, but kids will use anything at all. And so she's like, oh, I don't want my kids on social media. Bonnie Holing, your whole life is on social media. What do you mean you're not gonna let them have social media? So let me hear this correctly. You're not gonna let them have it, but you're gonna put them out there for the rest of the world to see and not let them see it? That's really sketchy. Each have an Instagram page, I manage it. And when I want to post, let me stop you there. Weird teeth space. Okay. So she just said, I'm not going to let them have social media, but they all have their own Instagram pages. Did I hear that correctly? And that she manages them. Why do they have Instagram pages? If you're not going to let them be on the internet and on social, why do they need those pages? It's not them. So are you telling me you're making money off your kids likenesses on their Instagram pages and they don't even run them? What's the point of having them? Do you guys see what I'm talking about here? Just have a family one. Why do you need to run theirs when they're not on it? This is so weird. Does she understand what she's saying here? I post. Sometimes they're like, hey, can we look at our Instagrams? And they'll sit down and they'll look at it with me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes Olivia will, will be like, will you post this on my Instagram? Mm -hmm. You know, so I run their Instagram. They okay. have never once Dump. read a single comment. They don't even know how to like navigate it. Anyway. Yeah, they do. They have friends and their friends probably navigate it. Bonnie, are you being this obtuse for real though? For real? You don't let your kids read the comments? Why? Why do you have content on the internet that you curate and put up about your kids in their names that they have no control over where there are comments where they shouldn't be reading it? What are you thinking? Turn the comments off then. You can turn comments off. Why don't you just turn the comments off? You know why she should turn the comments off? Because she monetizes it. They make money on it. And if you turn the comments off, your engagement rate is low. Bonnie... What, what's on there that you don't want your kids to read on their Instagram pages? Do you guys hear what's happening right now? This is insane to me. So people are leaving rude comments, bullying comments, and she just, oh, I don't let them read it. You don't think they read that shit? Um, and so as we were talking with Boston wow. last night, it's crazy. Um, he said, I mean, he was really upset. <laughs> <sighs> Cody. Look, this is all self-inflicted from you. Boston is upset, likely because of the world that you have created, where you literally make money sharing your entire life in Boston's life and your kids' lives. And they see this stuff forever. And you're all upset here because kids are bullying them. You are to blame for this, Bonnie. All you have to do is take it down. Take it down. Sitting there with us too. And they were like, what are our plans tomorrow? And, Cause you know, we ask that every night. And I was like, well, we have a play that we're going to. And they were just like, can we please stay home? Can we please not go anywhere? Can we just like watch a movie? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, like if if this is what the kids need, then like, yes. I've loved the videos that we've done. What do you mean? Um, all month. Oh, she's talking about Vlogmas. I love the videos we've done all month. She has been Vlogmasing, guys. Take it from me, who usually takes my weekends off. I usually do and I really enjoy my weekends. I've been doing Vlogmas every day. It is very, very stressful, very tiring, very time consuming, and she is filming her kids, and they're, they wanna take a night off. She's like, yeah, so I'll give you this video instead. So she's like, yeah, you can take a night off. Hear this, everybody, she's working her kids to death. I feel like uh, Vlogmas has really helped us get in the Christmas spirit, but it No, no it hasn't. You could be in the Christmas spirit without Vlogmas, you shitty liar. Are you, sh her kids are reaching out to her finally. And don't forget, these. she's likely very not approachable. She's very probably super strict, by the way. Um, and as people have reached out to me and said, just watch how she treats her kids, okay? And I'm gonna have to do a deep dive. But imagine your kids coming to you and be like, can we just take a break? 
oh my god, they're already in school. This is the holiday. This is Christmas. This is family time. But all she does is film that they have to beg to take a break. And she's like, you know what? You're right. Let's take a break. You deserve it. Ew. The kids are asking for a little break. I'm like, yeah, we can take a little break. Oh, um, you're so nice. So Thanks, Ursula. Like, yeah, we let's... appreciate it there, Disney villain. You're so nice to your kids letting them take a break and be children for once and just have a family movie night. This is disgusting. You guys, this is why we. This is why I talk about this. This is one of the most important videos that we've covered in a long time. This is so revealing. These kids have to work. All they do is work. They don't get family lives. Any event they do, they vlog it. They're gonna go to a play, they're gonna vlog it. They're gonna do Christmas presents, they're gonna vlog it. They're gonna eat Christmas dinner, they're gonna vlog it. She's gonna vlog her kids sitting in the corner for doing some shit. They're gonna open their presents, they're gonna vlog it. Everything is vlogged. These kids aren't living normal lives, everybody. You need to see it. Stay home. And so I was like, Joel, tomorrow, I've really been wanting to show this recipe. I was like, can we show this recipe? We'll do that for the video while the kids are at school. We can get it filmed and edited before the kids even get home. Oh, you're so and nice. Thanks, Bonnie. We thought that was a great plan B. And that was the plan. I got ready. Joel went to have his meeting. He brought groceries home. And then, you know how things go. Like conversations can turn so fast. If you need to put so much makeup on every single day because you have to vlog and you can't even cry without that shit breaking down your makeup, chill out. Start being, these people aren't regular people, everybody. This is not regular people shit. And anyway, um, then I was just like, you know, <laughs> I think that I'm just going to record a little thing right here and, cry. and call it a day. <laughs> and. It makes me sad because I don't want to end like on a sad note, but I just like feel sad right now. Stop touching your um, face like that. I know that. Joel is upset and I just don't want to like go in the kitchen and like put on a face and make him like film me. So I just thought, you know. It sounds like they just had a fight about something. This is what it sounds like to me. It's conjecture. She went into a room. She's like, that didn't turn out as well as I thought. This is the old, we just had a massive fight about what we're doing with our life. Something tells me something's going down. The kids need a break. Stop vlogging the kids. I don't think this, this husband is on board as much as she is with this whole thing. And she's like, no, nah, I don't want to do this. And so I'm going to give you this seven minute video, which is she probably should not have done this video. This is crazy what she's telling us right now. But thank God she's being honest. It's Friday night. It'll be Saturday for you guys. We do have a really fun day planned tomorrow um, that the kids that are really excited vlog. about. It won't feel like work for them. The only oh, my God. We're gonna do something fun. It won't feel like work, but we're gonna film it. Listen to the way that she speaks language about her children. Well, tomorrow we're gonna have some fun and it won't feel like work because every other day feels like work. She is admitting so much right now, everybody. She's, she's saying the quiet part out loud and it, you guys should be very, very, very aware of this, what she's saying right now. And she's trying to be all like, I'm the, I'm the queen for letting my kids not work for a day. Oh, this is disgusting. And it feels like work for them as if it's something they don't wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> you force your kids to film for money. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> um, You're disgusting. Which most of the time they're really excited for the things most, that we do. Yeah, but sure. anyway, it also reinforces to me that me taking this channel in a direction that isn't so focused on the kids was the right decision. And it we did, this is the first video we did about Bonnie, where she sat there, did her makeup, and said how she was taking the kids off. She has not done that. She might have taken them off a little bit less than she did before, but she's still saying we're filming content. They want to take a break. She's still admitting here up to this point, the kids still beg for breaks. So she's not doing the thing she said. The direction you took it in did not change. Liar. Kind of just happened. Um, initially it was forced and then I was, it, just, it has felt really good. So all in all, I'm really happy with the direction our channel has gone. I'm really happy with Liar. the way Vlogmas has gone. And I don't know. <laughs> she's making a ton of money. First, I was like, I will never do this again. But now it's coming towards the end. And I'm like, I don't want to stop. I love doing this. So anyway, kind of going back. Yeah, to you love it, Bonnie, because you make tons of money. Your kids seem to hate it. Your husband seems to be like, we're hurting our kids here. What is your problem? If she's not seeing this, her kid, she's gonna lose her kids when she gets older. So is the eight passenger. So is everybody who does this. Jess fam is gonna have a hell of a time with her teenage boys. I promise you that. And her teenage girls, a hell of a time. 
is people need to wake up early before they lose the relationship with their children. I hope the money's gonna be worth it when your kids like send you to a freaking old folks home in like Africa, in like, you know, up north somewhere in Canada. Like they never see you again, you deserve it. Conversation about kids at school and stuff. If your kids are on social media, you really do need to be monitoring what they're doing, who they're talking to, that kind of thing. And I would definitely reconsider. Are you kidding me right now? If your kids are on social media, monitor who they're talking to, you force your kids to be on social media. They don't have a choice. Their lives are out there forever and you force them. And they have Instagrams you just admitted that aren't even theirs that you monitor and you post for. Why? What is she saying here? Having them on social media. I feel like it's hard enough having kids deal with conversations in person. Wow at school, let alone the bravery that people feel behind a keyboard. Um, I'm Which, not by the way, Bonnie, you have facilitated. You are the one who curates the content. You film it, you likely edit it, you put it out there. Everything that is out there about your children was because of you, not a choice that they made. Everything. You are to blame here. And it sounds like you're blaming everybody else but yourself. You're to blame jumpsuit fortunate i feel i think things could be a lot worse for me but as an adult sometimes it's hard to deal with but i i feel like i have a more mature look on things than when i first started um but it's it's impossible for a child to separate the two and kind of understand <laughs> she's serious right now but she forces them to be on there where those negative comments come from and so I would suggest not having children on social media. And if they are, <laughs> excuse me, I suggest not having children on social media. She has Instagram pages for her kids and a family vlog of her family. What is she saying right now? I'm, I'm so upset right now. It needs to be monitored for sure. Um, boy, that's a scary world it's weird because i am you I, did it that's my living is social media but it is not my life <laughs> yes it's, it is I, you have nothing without this bonnie it is your life if it pays your bills your mortgage everything else it is your life it has to be so stop lying i do limit the time that i scroll i mean except tiktok okay. with joel that's kind of <laughs> we probably do that too much no. but anyway i'm sorry for the lame video today but it is no. what it is and no 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 thank you bonnie thank you this is very eye-opening thank you the world of anti-family vlogging thanks you this is the day who knows, maybe I'll delete all this because now I feel better now that I've like vented and cried. Now I'm like, okay, maybe I should just go make my recipe. <laughs> but I think for the sake of um, spending time with my kids as soon as they get home from school, because the time has kind of got a little bit away from us this morning, um, I think I'm going to, I will just end it here. Thank and God. Say thank you so much for the support for Vlogmas. And tomorrow will be a new day and I will refresh all of our household moods this evening as we truly just like relax, get a good night's rest, and then start fresh tomorrow. If you have had a day this month where no, you cry- No, you don't get to talk. Okay, let me, okay, first of all, bullshit, 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 every step of the way. She's a liar, she's, she's, she's saying the things to you as a parent. Maybe you should monitor your kids, maybe this and this, but Bonnie, none of this shit is out there without you. And then she's, she alludes to some things her son said, doesn't say what it is, fine. Then alludes to having an argument with her husband, alludes to all the shit, and then saying, I don't, I love it, I hate it, I love it, I hate it. She makes, she alludes to it being her only way of making a living. It's her only life. And then she's complaining about it because her kids are gonna hate her for this. I guarantee you in the end, everybody, her kids are gonna hate her. So is all the other family vloggers. You look at eight passengers, look what's going on with that shit, okay? It is really scary. Watch their kids and how they interact. You wait to see what's gonna happen. One of the things I'm gonna see coming forward is gonna be Everly LeBrant. Some shit is gonna go down with that. You watch and wait, and that's coming soon. These family vloggers better smarten the F up or they're gonna lose their kids. Like for real, gonna lose them to like attitudes, they're gonna lose them to their friends, they're not. What happens when the kids become teenagers wanna go out with their friends and don't wanna vlog every single day? What are you gonna do? Can't wait for that day. I can't wait. You guys are a-holes.
a-holes. Sorry that I got mad for this video, but, and it's probably, hopefully it recorded. <laughs> Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> Thanks for joining me. Maybe I'll go live if I get some 5G network stuff here on the video and we'll just have some fun. I'll edit this and then we'll put it out and have some fun. And you guys are awesome for being here. Thanks for being here for Snark Miss and everything else. Thanks for showing me this video. Great, 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 great video as far as being able to pull that apart and really, really dissect it. Really good. You guys are incredible, gifted, beautiful, gorgeous, valuable, and lovely. And I will see you tomorrow, maybe, hopefully. Mm -hmm.